everybody, Andrew with MobileBurn.com, and I'm here at the Phoenix International Raceway getting a demo from Qualcomm and Sprint to show us how we can get better experience out of these little guys. Your smartphone. When you're in a confined area with this many people, like at a sports stadium or a convention, it can be pretty hard to get cellular coverage. So we're going to see how they're working to improve that now. First, let's define what's the problem in this situation. Now, when you go to a place like the Phoenix International Raceway on a day when they're having the Sprint Cup Series, there are thousands of people. And I don't just mean in the stands. Actually, down in the racing area, in the pits, as they call it, there are 5,000 people. And those people have wireless demands as well. And those people have a lot more intensive demands than you and I have. They're actually sending real-time information from their cars back to their headquarters off-site and between each other in the garages. They have equipment, literally a ton of equipment. There's uh, more than 43 trucks there just for the racing teams alone. And that's not talking about all the thousands of people in the stands that are using their smartphones to read up information about the race, or just do regular internet browsing as they are want to do. So you have to think about it. There are thousands of people in this very confined space. There's no way that they're going to meet the traffic demands using the standard uh, macro networks that we have for our carriers. So basically what they need to do is create small cell sites. These are pretty much flexible ad hoc networks that are more efficient and they're targeted for dense areas. Typically what carriers do is they de deploy cellular on wheels that are kind of designed to spruce up connections in that very small area. Now with a cellular on wheel or cow truck, you only have about, let's say eight megabits per second. And that's for everybody to split. So it's a very low capacity for thousands of people to have to split between each other. With the small cell sites that Qualcomm is testing alongside with Sprint and NASCAR, they're able to boost that to 220 megabits per second. So it's a very big difference in terms of capacity. Now, when you normalize that, not just for, because it's important to also note that cow trucks cover a different distance amount. So when you normalize that to have the same amount of capacity uh, per square kilometer, Qualcomm is actually able to get 43 times as much capacity. So there's a big difference. So when you have more capacity or bandwidth for everybody to share, you're able to get better performance out of your networks. So what Qualcomm did is they worked with uh, Sprint and NASCAR to set up a test of to see how their network would work in a demanding environment. They pretty much set up base stations all along the garage area. And like I said, there's 5,000 people down in that garage area alone. So when they're sending all that information, they're going to need a reliable system to be able to communicate with each other. It can always be better. And because there's so much equipment and so many people, you have these uh, bad RF or radio frequency environment, which makes it hard for signals to travel from one place to another. So what they did is they devised a system. And the Ultrason uh, clip is what, uh, is what Qualcomm created. And the SON in Ultrason, S-O-N, means self-organizing network. It's a pretty interesting solution because what they do is they've created a network where all those bases communicate with each other and they're able to offload data from one to another. And it's a self-regulating system. They have an algorithm that doesn't require any babysitting and doesn't require anyone to take extra steps. So the system can say, hey, the people on the left side of the garage, they're using up a lot of data at the moment. So we need to allocate a little more resources there. So they're going to be able to offload some data from the cellular, net, the standard cellular network in a more efficient way than they would if they tried to use a cow truck. When we saw a cow truck run side by side against the test network that was created for this race, there was a huge difference in terms of performance. It fluctuated throughout the day, but there was definitely nine times out of 10, it was higher on, actually 10 times out of 10, I should say, it was higher and perceivable on Qualcomm's network. There was one demo where they showed me that I can't show you right at the, at the moment, but where they had Google Earth and it would load on pre within seconds on the small cell network, 
but on the phone that was tied to a cow truck that was trying to create a comparable experience, it would take considerably longer. And that's kind of what they're going for. They're saying, we're going to create a system that's able to meet the demands of a lot of people in a small area. And the problem with this is that it's up to the networks to implement it. The system, the demo that Qualcomm showed me is pretty interesting and it looks really good. But as I said, this is just a trial. This is a test. They're trying to see if it works and if it's feasible. Now, we've seen that it is work. So it's about whether or not it can be deployed quickly and widely by carriers. The encouraging sign is that uh, the Qualcomm executives that I spoke with on site, they explained to me that They've been very good partners with Sprint, and this is something that they're looking into, and it's beneficial to Sprint, and not just Sprint. This can work with other carriers as well. It's just that Sprint is the first one to work with them for this trial. So basically what we need to hope uh, that happens next is that carriers recognize the value of these small cell systems which have already been deployed in other ways, but in this particular instance. And they say, you know what, we need to make sure that we have more capacity in this area. We need to make sure that we're doing as much as we can to have a better system and deploy this in more places. There's no timeline for when this will happen. We don't know exactly when. We don't know which carriers, but we do know that sooner or later, somebody's going to wise up and see the benefits of this. We just have to hope that it arrives sooner than later. In the meantime, you just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm sure we've all been in those situations where your network just wasn't up to snuff. And when you're in a, a condensed area with a lot of people, with a lot of wireless demands, the performance isn't always that great. But hopefully more carriers will embrace this type of technology and we won't have those solutions much longer. This is Andrew with mobileburn.com. Thanks for watching.